everyone, what's up? It's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for taking some time out of your day today to hang out with me and let's get right into it. So today's video, I'm very excited about filming this. This is a video idea I had for like so long and one of the reasons I wanted to be on YouTube was that I wanted to make this video because I think it is such a fun video idea and fun to talk about. So the topic of the day is confessions of a teenage lifeguard. Now not Everything I'm going to say is going to be a confession. Some of it's just going to be me like talking about lifeguarding and then some of them will be like juicy confessions. So yeah, let's get into it. The first topic that I'm going to address in this video is kind of like the first stage of lifeguarding and it's called you think it's going to be scary, but it's really not. If you're new to lifeguarding right or you're trying to decide that you want to be a lifeguard, and you think it's going to be really scary because you've like seen the movies and you've seen TV and it's all very dramatized and you think that, holy crap, like I'm not going to be able to save that person, they're going to be drowning and I'm not going to know what to do. One, you will know what to do because in an emergency situation, like it is instinctual that you will know what to do. Two, you will have a ton of backup because there are so many other lifeguards there that are going to be helping you. So it's not like you're just going to be on your own the whole time. So I definitely think that like overcome that and you'll be fine. I think that as long as you know what to do and you feel prepared, then you should totally take on this job. It is super great. So I'm going to move on now that I've said that into my second stage of this video, which is called what the job actually is. So TV and movies make out this job to look like it's something that it's not. Let's be real here, it's not Baywatch, okay? It's not. As much as I wish it was, and as much as I love that movie, that is not what my job was like, <laughs> or any other lifeguard's job is like, okay? So, what's this job actually like? What do you have to do? Cleaning, you have to do a lot of cleaning. You have to do a lot of gross stuff that you really probably wouldn't wanna do in any other situation, but it's your job, so you have to do it. Such as weeding, cleaning bathrooms, cleaning out the gutters, cleaning this, cleaning that, yucky stuff. You have to take the water vacuum in and out. You have to clean the bathrooms multiple times a day. You have to wash for poop, clean up poop, clean up for vomit, clean up the pavilion, clean up all kinds of yucky, nasty stuff. That is in your job description and you have to do it. Mostly. I don't know any lifeguard who didn't have to do that. So let me know if you didn't have to do that. Lucky you. But that is just a part of this job. So if you're coming here thinking that it's just going to be sitting in a chair wearing a bathing suit and looking cute all day, you're wrong. The next part of the job is like the majority of what your job is when you're on stand, which means when you are actually sitting in the lifeguard chair. The next part of this job is called rule enforcing. Now this one is very important because it is you enforcing the rules of your swim club and making sure that whoever it is, kid, adult, usually kid, is staying safe. This is the part that you know all about. The no running, no jumping, no chicken fighting, all of those fun universal rules. And then of course you'll have your own quirks at whatever club or water park or wherever you're working at will have their own rules, own doozies that you get to enforce. And it's really fun because you get to yell at the same kids for doing the same thing again and again and again. Now this is the part of the job that is really annoying, but it is totally worth it because it's fun, but this is the majority of the job. It is not jumping in and doing spinal saves every single day or saving an old grandpa from dying. Like, those things can happen, but the majority of what you're going to be doing during your six-hour shift or however long your shift is, is saying, don't jump off the diving board backwards and stuff along those lines. It's a little more dry than the TV makes it out to be. That's okay. So... Let's go into the next thing, which is my confession for the video. And that is body image. Yay. So let's talk about this. This is a subject that I wanted to address in this video because I've never, I've seen a lot of life writing videos, you know, I'm interested. I want to put out my content, but I want to look at the other content that's out there. And this is something that none of them have mentioned. So maybe this is just unique to me, but I can't imagine that it is. So I'm going to say it in this video anyway. So body image. So you're sitting out there all day, every day, looking at other people wearing bathing suits while you yourself are wearing a bathing suit. Now, how does this weigh on your body image? To me, it weighed pretty heavy and it was something that was on my mind a lot of the time when I was just 
just sitting there because you are sitting there watching them and what else are you going to think about when you're on stand you know you have all this free time to think about whatever you want and there here comes girl with perfect bikini body and teenage girl mind means compare yourself to that person now that is not a good mindset and I'm not saying that it's for sure gonna happen to you or that you shouldn't be lifeguard because of this but that is a confession of mine that that weighed heavy on me while I was a lifeguard it was something that I was very hyper aware of I was hyper aware of my body image I was constantly comparing myself to other people's bodies that I was seeing every day and it could become very toxic if I let it and I'm glad that I didn't and I had a good handle on it I have a very positive body image which you will see in future videos that I'm very excited to make and talk about but this is just a topic that I wanted to sprinkle in as my confession and something that happens during lifeguarding that I thought would be valuable to add into this video. So I'm just going to put my little disclaimer there that this happened to me, doesn't mean it's going to happen to you, doesn't mean you shouldn't take the job, doesn't mean lifeguarding is bad. I'm going to talk about all the good stuff about it in a moment, but that's just a little warning. So my final confession has to do with the fact that lifeguarding means that you are working with several other people, all of whom are probably pretty attractive and all of whom are in your age range from maybe younger, maybe older, but in your age range. And you get to see all of them in their bathing suits too and they get to see you in yours. You know what that means? Drama crushes. It happens, like it happens so much. And like, how can you be a lifeguarder and not have a crush on your coworker? I don't know because I've had my fair share of coworker crushes and I know my coworkers have had crushes. They all, everyone likes everyone. <laughs> Maybe that's not true, but like everyone kind of has had a crush on another coworker at some point. Then two will go on a date and it'll be super awkward at work the next day. Just think you're spending like six hours of your day almost every day with these people. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? There's gonna be drama, there's gonna be clicks, there's gonna be politics and like drama that happens outside of work. People hang outside of work and then come back and people go on dates and like stuff like that. And it's very entertaining but it can also be not cool because you don't want to get in a situation that makes your job awkward. <laughs> so that's another aspect of this job and another confession. I've had crushes on my lifeguarding co-workers so if any of you are watching this then it was probably pretty obvious that I had a crush on you and you probably already know and if you don't then shame on you for not picking up on the signs that I was flirting. But anyway, yeah, that's my confession about being a lifeguard. So anyway, lifeguarding is the best job ever. I know I said some negative stuff about this video, but I also want to say the positives is that I made it out like a negative that you're with people your own age, but it's not. It's so nice because you automatically make a lot of friends. You have fun people that you get to see every day. Keeps the summer interesting. You get to be outside. You get to get a tan. You get to go swimming on your breaks. Like, that is so fun. You get free food all the time. There's so many perks of this job. It's great hours, it's beautiful location, and it's really, really overall such a fun time. I wouldn't trade my experience as a lifeguard for anything. I've had some of the best summers of my life as a lifeguard, and I definitely recommend anyone who is physically able to be a lifeguard to be one because it is so much fun and cool and a great job. However, there are some negatives of the job that just come along with it, and you have to either suck it up and deal with it or not, but I would totally say that the pros outweigh the cons so definitely be a lifeguard that's all i got to say about that well i mean I, I could go on for hours but that is in a nutshell my experience as a lifeguard and hopefully this video is kind of entertaining and helpful for you and yeah so if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to my youtube channel check out my social media and i will hopefully see all of you again in the future so thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you and have a wonderful afternoon.